about me But mama, I ain't a kid And my pistol is starting to get heavy I have let in a clip This wood pulls hard like a Chevy She's shaking ass and her hips And I'm too young to die now I need a couple more pens These pens that burn holes in my pockets Saint Laurent Saint Laurent made in friends I am Ferda Lance and I'm from Orlando, Florida. I know the sun is coming. I can feel it inside of me. I met the devil last night. She said it's part of the prophecy. Girl, you know that I feel you. It's so far with the way that you ride for me. My baby got glocks in a purse. So, boy, I don't think about robbing me. I actually lived in Costa Rica for like six to seven months and uh, there's these really spooky snakes there that are like the most venomous in the world called fertilances and it was my job working at this resort to kill these snakes and it was the scariest shit ever. I, I literally like I had a snake killing stick and I have to go out in like the muck in the middle of the night with like this headlamp and I said holy shit this is the scariest thing I've ever oh, yeah. done. Like because it would rain really hard in Costa Rica because it's a rainy rainy place and then the snakes would come out um, from their place and they'd go all over the ground and then I'd have to kill them so they wouldn't hit any of the guests. I was like, holy shit, this is the scariest thing I've ever dealt with. Like, this is super spooky. This is hard. So now I'm Fertile Lance. Um, I actually left because I wanted to pursue music more. Like, I was there living with like uh, five to six different people and like seeing the same faces and playing the same songs for the same people. You know, it, it's fun and living on like a tropical paradise is pretty cool, but it does get old and you do want to meet new people and put your stuff out there. Well, I originated making uh, like pop punk type music, uh, skater type music, and then I, I gave up a little bit and I started playing football and sports and things in high school, but I always fooled around on the guitar. Um, and then moving to Costa Rica, I really picked it back up. I always played in college um, in different bands, but never took it serious. But after I came back, um, I wanted more freedom to be able to move around and create more music, and the problem with especially being like a white dude in a band is you got to stick in that band and you got to stick with those people. So like anything you do, they have to do with you. So I've given myself the freedom by entering into like the rap realm by saying, hey, I can feature this guy or I can send this person this wave file and then I'll leave like an eight bar measure in there and then just fill it and send it back, send it over, get master, it's done. I don't need people with me to do all that. And it, it really has given me the freedom to go where I've wanted to go and do what I've wanted to do. I, I think it's just, it's, it's definitely the only thing that like comes naturally to me where like I don't have to think that much and it's just I feel it. Like it's definitely a feeling like every tone, every pitch, like every chord, like I just like I feel it. I feel it inside of me and I've always been like that. Like I play um, pretty much every instrument you can think about. First I like to tackle a melody. Um, that, that's... That's honestly the biggest part. Uh, it's, it's the hook that draws people in. And uh, it's, it's that redundant, <laughs> like, little, little steps that you take that are repetitive, but they're catchy. And you want people to hear that. And you want them to repeat it in their head when they're doing their dishes, when they're doing their laundry, when they're driving to work. You know, it's that, 
It's that little measure of music where it's not the whole song that they'll sing in their head, but they'll have, and that's what I look for. And once I get that done, and I, I pretty much start out with the guitar the way I'm doing it now. Um, I'll write some lyrics over, uh, throw some chords down, um, throw some licks over on top of it, and then I'll contact my friends on different artists who I feel like would match the song. Let's, if I'm writing a sadder song, I'm definitely going to go with like more of those emo type rapper artists. And then if I'm writing like a pump up song, I'm going to get like a club banger guy. So that's, that's also what comes in with the versatility of like being able to pick who I put in my music and not being tied down with a band. Um, NBA Youngboy for sure, just because I, I think it would it'd be such a contrast in, in styles of music and his sound. I, it would be, it'd be incredible. Um, who else do I like? I like Roddy Rich too. He, he's real good. Um, who else can I think off the top of my head that I've been listening to that I really like? These are all people I listen to when I lift, like I'm getting in the mood. Um, yeah, just those two people. I, I would really like that. That would mean the world to me if I could get in contact with them and do some work, even if it was just like laying acoustic over on top of a track they already have. I'd I'd love that. Um, there, it's a play to play game. Um, and I mean, you definitely have to have money to get involved in this type of industry. And uh, that part, I, I, I wish it was a little bit more equal playing field for some of the people that are less fortunate, that don't have the platforms to actually pay to do that. Because you have to pay for everything in this industry, pretty much. People have to get paid to play. And um, that's the only downside I see in it. Besides that, there's a lot of love. Um, Especially in my city, I wish people would put each other on more, like Atlanta or other cities uh, where people help each other out and they play each other's music. I wish that was more of a thing in Orlando, but everybody kind of has their cards, you know, tight to their chest. That's one thing I wish I would change, but besides that, I love it. It's all love, and it's fun.